Tag Gornal is a 1961 graduate of Lorraine High School and made the most of his high school years by becoming a member of the National Honor Society, an Eagle Scout, remembering rifle practice under the Lorraine High School gymnasium. There was actually a rifle range. He received the LHS service plaque for three years and was a member of the Noon Movie Team, was selected for the Joe Berg Science Seminar Series, and was vice president of his 1961A class. He also earned a Red Cross life-saving badge. His high energy and curiosity also took him to the shores of Lake Erie, where he and a buddy acquired diving suits and once chopped a hole in the ice to use them. His passion for all things aquatic was so well known that on the back of his graduation pictures there was a quote, I'll bet I turn on the television one day and see you swimming next to Lloyd Bridges. <laughs> Young people, that was a, a TV show. <laughs> After graduation, Tag saw the ocean for the first time four months after he entered oceanography at the University of Washington in Seattle. And in 1965, received a BS in zoology with a focus on physiology. Feeling constrained by a lack of contact with live subjects, he went on to Washington State University to earn a doctorate in veterinary medicine in 1971. Tag grew up with deaf parents and he attributes his acute observation and listening skills which were so critical in his work with animals to that experience. Over the course of a long and adventurous career, Tag became one of the world's foremost marine mammal veterinarians. He is known for his work with the heart and diving studies of Namu, the first, first orca in captivity. He worked with sea otters during the Exxon Valdez oil spill and helped design aquariums around the world. He was consulting veterinarian for the Seattle Aquarium and other national and international aquariums. He also consulted on movies about marine life, including Free Willy 2. Tag owned several veterinary clinics and was the director of the Marine Animal Resource Center based in Seattle. He is a past president of the International Association of Aquatic Animal Medicine. Tag spent his whole career working to rescue, heal, study, and rehabilitate marine and other mammals. Now retired, he has turned his efforts in both business and volunteer work to organizations develop, devoted to bettering his community on Vashon Island, Washington. Tag sees these projects as his chance to give back for all the blessings in his life. Please welcome Thomas, Thomas Tag Gornall to the Lorraine Alumni Association Academic Hall of Fame. On his behalf, Mr. Larry Pullen. I'm honored to uh, receive this for Tom. I wish I could say I did one tenth in my life what he has done. I just want to say that when you're born in a, a city and you grow up here and you go to school here, it just becomes a part of who you are. Everything about Lorraine becomes of who you are. The lake, the river, the steel plant, the Basco Bridge, our high school, and all the people that we met there, and our community that we lived in. It just becomes you. And you take that with you wherever you go. And Tom took that with him. And I know at this point he can just say, I'm just a kid from Lorraine, but I'm very proud of it. Tom Gurdown. And we have a video from Tag. I want to thank the Lorraine Schools Alumni Association for honoring me in this fashion. And by doing so, you're also honoring those who have helped me get to this point in my career. And I want to thank my family. The members of my family that are present today include my sister, Sandy. Sandy and I were born of deaf parents. We were born in the same house that our father had lived. My dad went to Lorraine High, class of 34B, uh, Tom. Uh, Gornell and Mary Gornell, my mother, went to the fourth grade. 
My nephew, Bob Caesar, is there. My niece, Gail Gaffney. My cousin, Larry Gornell, is there. And congratulations to another cousin, Dr. Michael Timko. Miranda Telaha Sharp is there. Miranda is my student. She was introduced to me by Ron Miller, another class of 61A. Ron owned Wooden Wine at the end of Colorado. He did so when he found out that uh, Miranda wanted to take the path in her life that I had. Miranda and I met soon after graduating, graduating from high school. Miranda went to Lorraine Community College, Kent State University, where she got her Bachelor of Science in Zoology and next month leaves for Ohio State University and will be in the College of Veterinary Medicine there. Representing me today is Larry Cohen, my old buddy, a locally well-known pharmacist. We were diving buddies together. We worked in the movie booth at Lorraine High School, the light crew, the visual aids. He's 61B. Thank you for doing this, Larry. I appreciate it. My passion for the aquatic world started when I was very young. Uh, my trips to Lakeview got more and more frequent. Uh, my trips to the lighthouse got more and more frequent. From 10th and Washington, where we were born, it was not a very big distance. We went to the lake in the summer to swim, and we went to Lakeview Park in the winter to ice skate. In 1932, my dad and a classmate, Bud Greenwood, also 1934B, built a diving helmet. They built it out of an old hot water tank and used window sash weights to weigh it down. They used the diving helmet. I used it a few times. In 1961, January, we graduated. On Christmas night, 1961, I got on an airplane and left for Seattle and the University of Washington and entered the School of Oceanography. Bud Greenwood uh, lived in Vermilion. He had a daughter, Bonnie Ann. I never met Bonnie Ann. I did not know Bonnie Ann. But eight years or so after I entered the University of Washington, so did she. She also entered the School of Oceanography. We were the children of the helmet makers. From then until now, it's been a very interesting ride. It's been a great ride. And I really appreciate all the people that have participated in my life. Thanks to my teachers, my scoutmasters, Irving Crooks and Barney Henkin. And I encourage those people that have an interest in the aquatic world to continue that. I'd like to come back to Lorraine and perhaps talk to some of those people, as well as the students that are wanting aquatic careers. Thank you again. And thank you, Larry, for being my rep. Thank <laughs> you.